Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. I'm your host Lollerpot and today I think we're doing a little bit more of things that we have been asked to do. There's a lot of wolves here, so we probably need to kill them. Okay, attack them. There we go. Good work all of you. Kill those wolves. They are no match for us. I'm gonna use that too, I think. Yeah. Here we go. Use healing bites. There we go. Well, no worries. The other guys are here. Good war. And kill the host guy. Good work. Not too hard. None of the wolves dropped anything? I mean, I guess what will the wolf have, but I was expecting something. Okay. There's a dead body here. I found the body of the boy's mother, yes. Probably good that I didn't actually uh, bring the boy around. Oh, there's another one. I see the gender board has some quest around here too. Let's go see what they have. Oh. Bears. Alright, attack that thing. aren't that hard to kill. Alright, some lyrium potions. I guess I should have ordered her to do lyrium. Of course. Um, when she gets too low. Well, she's already full of all that stuff, so I don't think I need to. Oh, what's this? Death desire. root. That's not elf root, I say. Alright, let's keep moving to... I think there was another quest here. Yes, feast day gifts. And after that, we can um, go back and return all of this. Do this not respawn this route? I feel like they probably will at some point. Alright, we are here. Someone help us! <laughs> Oh my, those are... What are you doing here? Okay, let's go to a bit higher up. Here we go. Shoot. Oh my, they killed that guy. Alright, so keep fighting. Use that. And another. Okay, fall back a little bit. There we go. Alright, here we go. Keep fighting them. Come on, kill those guys. What's this? Okay, use a crater heal boosters. There we go. Kill the turlock. I don't know why my guy died so fast. He just did. Let's go and kill this guy. And this guy. There we go. Good work, guys. Mighty timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. Um, you are welcome. The name's Bodon Fedic, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. 
Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. Um, well, it's a bit complicated, but you are welcome to come along. Complicated? <laughs> Somehow I imagine that only says half of it. Thank you for the offer, but there may be more excitement on your path than is good for my boy and me. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? Goodbye to you too. I guess we could revive my other guy. Oh, he is alive. Okay. And so I shall. Here we go. Oh, there's actually a quest on them still. I wonder why. Oh, it's the boy. We'll be off as soon as this mess is cleaned up. We'll be off as soon as this okay. mess is cleaned up. Oh. Thank you, Carney, for all your assistance. Fair enough. Let's move on. I don't know what the dork spawn were to de doing there. That's a bit interesting of a place for them to be in. Oh, there's some rubble here. Oh, I found a longbow. How oh, intriguing. Yeah, I probably should... Well, take, I can't rest around here. I probably need to go somewhere else to rest. But now let's return to the chant report. Or the gentry man, that is, and well, the boy's mother is dead. We probably need to do something about that too. Let him take notice and shine upon thee, for thou hast done his work this day. And the stars stood still, the winds did quiet, and all animals of earth and air held their breath. All was silent in prayer and thanks. Yes, quite so. Where's the other quest's uh, completion? Was that it? I guess it might have been it. Um, sure. Why not? Now, I really want to rest somewhere, but, well... <coughs> it seems the place is full, so I can't really rest. Now, are these guys moving? I don't know if they are. Do I have anything else around here? Oh, not those. Oh, it is actually a... Oh. Oh, I see. That's some kind of exclusive content, I guess. I don't think I will be doing that right now. <coughs> I might, but... Probably not. Let's keep moving, actually. How is everybody? Ah, uh, he's a bit hurt. Do I have... Yeah, let's use that on him. There we go. Too bad I can't have that, but um, I'll manage. Alright. Oh, is there something? No, okay. Oh, didn't notice this blood match. Is this a quest to here? No, I don't think it is. Um, I guess we just need to go to Redcliffe or Ozamar or, well, anywhere really. <coughs> yeah, I think we could visit Orzammar for now. We'll be off as soon as this mess is cleaned up. Thank you, Carney, for all your assistance. What about Sandal? Hello. Oh, well, he just says hello to me. Alright, let's keep moving. Let us venture forth. Ooh. What's this? Ooh, is that the arc team? I think it is. That... That was a dream. Um, I guess it was a nightmare. Bad uh, dreams, huh? My, <coughs> it seemed so real. Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde. 
and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. Uh, is that a dragon? I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. But yes, that's the Archdemon. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. Ah. Um... Any other surprises you know about? Other than dying young and the whole defeat the blight alone thing? No. I'm all tapped out for surprises. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Okay. That sounds like a fine idea. <clears throat> oh wow, that's a lot of quests for me. I guess I should talk to a lot of people. Like these two. Ah! It's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fedic, at your service, once again. I saw your camp and remember the kind offer that you made the last time we met. And is there anywhere safer for a poor merchant and his son to sleep? I think not. I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? Yeah, that actually sounds quite good. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. Quite so. And I can sell some of my worthless things like my... Oh, that's actually a tier 3 dagger. Is it better than the others? I guess it is. Uh, let's sell the tier, tier 2 daggers then. And keep the tier 1. <coughs> yeah, sell all of those, thank you. Sylvan's Mercy. Wow, that's a... Oh. When have I gotten the Oath Keeper? I might I equip that to someone. There we go. Anything else I could sell? I guess that. There we go. Anything here? And yeah, I can sell the two small shields. I don't need them. And I guess, do I have any tier 1? Yeah, let's sell the tier 1 armor. There we go. Alright. Anything else? I don't think there is. I still have tons of flasks and I can make some elf root things. Do you have any recipes for me, perhaps? Um, well, you've got distillation agents. I guess I could buy a few of those. Like, I don't know, 10? No, oh, wow, that actually goes really expensive, so no. Never mind, I won't buy those. Um, I don't know. Do we have anything interesting here? Uh, increase monetary gain. Oh, that actually sounds quite fun. Uh, but... Oh, there's actually two rings here. You have a lot of stuff, but I don't know if I want any of it. That That is a very expensive thing. But I guess it's one of the better ones. That staff will be nice for um, Morrigan, I guess, but I can't get it for now. You have some health postices, healing kits, all kinds of cool stuff, but... Yeah, I think you can't really give me much good around here. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Uncrushable pigeon. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll just take it because it's free. Same with that. Are they all for free? That's nice. But I don't think I should take all of them, actually. That probably... There, there's probably a reason why you shouldn't take all of them. Yeah, let's actually sell them back. Let's see, do, is there something they might want, though? Grey Warding Hand Puppet. Yeah, let's take that. That might be good for him. Um... King Merrick shield. <laughs> Alistair doll. That's cool. Gunari prayers for the dead. Yeah, let's take that too. Alright, anything else? Um, let's see. 
No, I don't think there's really that many other things anymore. Thank you. Now then, let's go here. Go to Alice there. Go to others. And... No, I can't give this to him. But I can't give this to him. I could get used to this, you know. Thank you. Morrigan, you can take this. Or... Morrigan? Why, why aren't you taking this? Ah, well, he can't for some reason. Let's give this to you, though. I am impressed. My thanks. <clears throat> oh, do I still keep them after I give them? I think so. Okay. You, you can't take that either now. Okay. All right, let's move. Oh, did I get healed from that? I think I did. Nice. <clears throat> all right, thank you for all of this. Minor constitution, you say? Ooh. Wow. A lot of new stuff happened. That's very nice. Hello, Levy Dryden. You're a hard man to find. Where are my manners? The name is Levy. Levy Dryden. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins? Levy the trader? Um... No, do you know Duncan? Oh, yes, for years. Considered him a friend, I did. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the Wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, at that. What I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. Um... Yes. What did Duncan make... <clears throat> what promise did Duncan make to you? My family... Well, past a bit checkered, to see. Nobles look at us with disdain. My great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last warden commander of Ferelden back when the wardens were known as freeloaders. So King Arland banished the Wardens, and he took House Dryden's land and titles. Oh, that doesn't sound good. What happened next? Hard to say. After King Arland died, there was a civil war, loads worse than this one. And our family was on the run, hunted by enemies, with nary a friend in the world. But Dryden's are tough. We rebuilt, became merchants, and we never lost our pride. I see. I'm surprised you kept your name. Our family's only crime was <coughs> guarding the kingdom against the blight. We're not ashamed of that. Ah. So, what favor did you ask of Duncan? I asked for the truth. My family reveres Sophia Dryden. We know she died at the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak. We want evidence to clear her name. It won't restore our land or our titles, but it'll restore our honor. Um... I never heard of Soldier's Peak. Well, no one's been to Soldier's Peak since Arland's days. At least none that's come back. I spent years mapping the maze of tunnels to the peak, and I found the way a few years back. So I went to Duncan, I did, and I said that he could reclaim the old base and my family could have its honor. Um, why didn't Duncan help you? Darkspawn surfaced in southern Ferelden. And Duncan got plenty busy recruiting new wardens and meeting with good King Caelan. Duncan said he would help after the Battle of Ostagar. Said there might be useful things at the peak, but he never had the chance. Um... Yeah, your family's fate will be rewarded. I will help you. A thousand blessings upon you, warden. I'll mark down the location on your map. When you arrive, we'll pick our way through the tunnels together. Thank you very much. We won't do that right now, but thank you. Now then, where are you all of my good friends? Oh, I didn't know the Sandal had to talk to me too. Hello. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a... What was it now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. Um, what enchantments does he do? He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armor. 
though naturally some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform, but my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantment! And there you have it. Um, well, I guess I can get some enchanting done. Enchantment! Oh, wow, what's this? Um, the Oath Keeper? Oh, I don't want that to be changed, though. Okay, I don't... Yeah, I guess you could get the Oath Keeper, but I'm using two-handed, so... That won't really help for me, will it now? Hello. Oh, why you little... What? Your furry friend here took offense at me getting near his food. He snapped at me, look. Uh... It was just a warning. He could have taken a hand off. Don't you think I don't know it? Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. Quite so. Um, anyone else here who want to talk? Valiana? Yes. Uh, I think you... Oh, wow. I would like to talk. Well, here I am. And this vision of yours. I knew this would come up sooner or later. I don't know how to explain, but I had a dream. In it, there was an impenetrable darkness. It was so dense, so real. And there was a noise, a terrible, ungodly noise. I stood on a peak and watched as the darkness consumed everything. And when the storm swallowed the last of the sun's light, I... I fell. And the darkness drew me in. Ah. Okay. The dream was not all. There's more. When I woke, I went to the Chantry's gardens, as I always do. But that day, the rose bush in the corner had flowered. Everyone knew that bush was dead. It was grey and twisted and gnarled, the ugliest thing you ever saw. But there it was. A single, beautiful rose. It was as though the Maker stretched out his hand to say, Even in the midst of this darkness, there is hope and beauty. Have faith. Yeah, well, now then <laughs> I noticed the time is going, so I need to actually stop it mid sentence here. I'm so sorry. Uh, but this has been Dragon Age Origins. I'm your host, Lollarpot, and I'll see you on the next side.